The bar is lower than it used to be several years ago due to just case law updates. But I mean, still needs to be something. The child is not making it to school on time routinely. Like they're not just three tardies in a, in a school year, but like routinely not doing well at school, not getting to school on time, homework not being done. We don't want to say there has to be harm to the child, but at least potential that this child is, this is not a good environment for this to continue. This needs to change, whether it's possession and access or, or custody. So, I mean, there needs to be more than, than just, I want to see my kid more. It needs the substantial change in circumstance is oftentimes re regarding school. And, and this is, it could be an illness that's not being treated. We talked about mental health earlier. And if I've seen it a lot, I bet you've seen it a lot with ADD. Mm -hmm. Kids are diagnosed with ADD or ADHD and one parent wants to put the child on medication, the other does not. But the child's not doing well at school and has behavior issues at school. So there needs to be something that needs to be done. And if, if both parents have the independent right to make the psychological and psychiatric decisions for the child, we have to go back to court. That is a substantial change in circumstances with this child's mental health and his, now his school. It's all intertwined and so that's a that's another reason to go back to court or a party gets married to someone who, they're divorced, they remarry and whoever they remarry is causing problems in the household or disruptions. We see that a lot too. Absolutely. So it's hard to say these are the five things that are a substantial change of circumstances. I wish it was that easy, but there does have to be something tangible to show that the child is struggling one way or another. It may be that the kid's not been in counseling and the counselor has expressed some concerns to the parents. Sure, or the school has expressed some concerns, you know, acting out in school, getting in trouble more often. Really, school seems to be the easiest way for us to kind of go, oh, this is what it was before, this right. is what it is now, because you have a very good before and after to kind of look at and it's not so subjective. Yeah. So that certainly helps. And again, we're not saying that there has to be, you know, true like physical harm, but we do have to show that there has been some sort of deviation in what's been going on in kiddo's life.